Item hash. SCP-1650. Object class. Safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-1650 is to be held in a standard artifact containment unit in Site-19's high value wing. Due to special interest in obtaining SCP-1650 expressed by hostile groups of interest, security details for it are to follow defense and concealment protocol Epsilon 168. Any use of instances of SCP-1650-1 must be authorized by Project Supervisor Dr. Dunson. Description. SCP-1650 is a clay oil pot, dating to Hasmonean period Judea circa 170 BCE. On the bottom of SCP-1650 is an inscription in Hebrew, which has experienced significant wear due to the age of the artifact. When in an upright position, SCP-1650 appears to be empty, but when tilted and held at a specific angle for 30-30 seconds, various types of oil henceforth SCP-1650-1 will be poured from it. 45 SCP-1650-1A Olive Oil, Virginal Oil produced is consistent of manufacturing techniques and olive breeds used in Judea in the 2nd century BCE, 50 SCP-1651 B, identical to 45 while SCP-1651 B appears identical to SCP-1651 A smell, texture, taste, molecular structure, ingesting it cause nausea, abdominal pain, and vomiting, followed by cardiac dysrhythmia, tremors, seizures and finally death in 87% of test subjects, permanent brain damage in 12% and no effect in the remaining 1%. Autopsies revealed the cause of death to be severe olindrin poisoning, though no traces of olindrin or nerium oleander were found in the oil prior to ingestion. 65 SCP-1651 C. Unknown oil. Clear. SCP-1651 C shows no anomalous properties unless used to fuel a light source. When thus used, SCP-1651-C will burn for a period of 24-24 to 63-63 hours. The burn process does not produce heat and does not require oxygen. 90 SCP-1651-D Unknown oil, red. When applied to inorganic matter, SCP-1651 acts as a preservative e.g., preventing rust when applied on metal. When applied to living organic matter, SCP-1651 possess mild corrosive qualities. SCP-1651-D has no effect on dead organic matter, which can be used to safely apply it to other materials. Of note is SCP-1651-D's effect on blood. SCP-1651-D seemingly erases any trace of blood it comes into contact with with a ratio of 10 cc of oil to 500 cc of blood. Because of this, ingestion or injection of any significant amount of SCP-1651-D will quickly become fatal due to rapid exsanguination. If not applied to inorganic material, SCP-1651-D will lose its anomalous properties within 30-30 seconds of being poured from SCP-1650. Tests on SCP-1651-D revealed traces of Helichrysum sanguinum bloom. SCP-1650 is capable of producing approximately 2-2 two two liters of each type of oil before running out, and will replenish its reservoirs after being returned to an upright position for a period of 28-28 hours. 
SCP-1650 first came to the Foundation's attention when Agent embedded in the offices of Marshall, Carter and Dark Ltd. in reported an upcoming transaction between MC Ampersanti and a group identifying itself as the Horizon Initiative. While the Foundation possesses limited information about this group, it was discovered that it is covertly sponsored by several major religions. Agent was able to discover the location of the transaction and Mobile Task Force Alpha 12 Flatheads was dispatched to intercept it and detain the persons involved. Upon arrival, MTF Alpha 12 apprehended all parties without incident. SCP-1650, the item the Hawaii was attempting to purchase, was recovered, 